I feel like I lived 20 lives in the last two years. So at the beginning of the pandemic, one of the first things I did was I saw a lot of misinformation. And so I saw a great opportunity to give people correct information. So these were self-made videos I did. Unfortunately, I didn't put them on YouTube, but it went around quite a bit on social media. Um, I tackled different things from symptoms to the need to get vaccinated, um, to what the disease was about, and you know, just the genesis of the pandemic. And so that was a lot of work. And in addition, I was on national television in Ghana for about four months from April to September of 2020, just every day educating people. And to this date, people like reach out to me and let me know what a great, great service it was to allay people's fears and to provide a sense of direction. I am COVID-19 for me in the pandemic resilience was about keeping positive energy and also about focusing on the grand purpose i felt like the COVID 19 time was a calling for me to direct the world to write information and so that's just what i was doing whether it was at work or in small groups or on television, I was just like, this is the right information and it's coming from an expert. So for all my 17 years of being an infectious disease doctor, I felt this was the time to be on the global stage to let people know that you're a credible source of information and they can trust it. So that kept me resilient, that kept me going, that kept me waking up at 2 a.m., 4 a.m. for various interviews. So it was tied to purpose, and so that made me resilient. I found a lot of things exciting. Like, I had a lot of high points, like convincing people about vaccinations. Oh my God, it was like my forte, especially when I had a smaller group. I could convince them, and they would come back the next day and say, Dr. I, I got my vaccine because of you. Going forward, I think telemedicine has defined what healthcare is and how we can deliver care and the fact that we all need to work together. I mean, the pandemic saw different countries collaborating on research, thoughts, um, the vaccine, that we really, it's really one health. We can't isolate US healthcare from Africa healthcare or Europe healthcare and that we have to learn to tackle problems and um, challenges as, as a continent and as one people.